Hello and welcome to another edition of Toys from the Attic. For today's episode, I thought we'd be taking a look at Reveltech's Optimus Prime. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this guy. Alright, so here we have Reveltech's Cybertron Command Convoy, aka Optimus Prime. Now even though this guy doesn't have any alt mode that you can change him into, he has a tremendous amount of display potential. With his super detail and extreme articulation, you can't really go wrong with this figure. You can see all the nice little details that have actually been added into his chest, his arms, and even his legs. There's all this nice little uh, paneling carved in right there. And you can see that his paint job is done fairly well too. There's no little smudges with the paint or anywhere else on the details. Now as far as his articulation goes, he has a tremendous amount of it. You can see that he has two double uh, joints right here at his neck, so you can get him looking down almost at his feet, or actually looking up at the sky, kind of looking long, longingly back at Cybertron, his original home. His arms are able to move up and down like this, and you have a little bicep swivel right here, as well as a elbow swivel, and then a bend at the elbow. His hands are able to swivel around like this, and you have another uh, bend right at the chest, and you can get him into all these different poses. It's a little bit hard and stiff and sometimes I don't really uh, pose these guys too much. And then you're able to also move his legs up and down like this also on the same socket joints as well as uh, getting some poses in the knees and some at the ankles. So you can really get these guys in some really good battle poses. I wish I had a little peg stand to actually stand him up so you can actually get him like he's actually trying to karate kick somebody. Now the only downside about this guy is actually these little uh, bald socket joints. Because they actually uh, swivel around sometimes, you never exactly know where they're being positioned. And you can see that the little uh, peg that actually goes right into the leg is very thin. So sometimes when you're wanting to get this guy back into a standard pose, the joint might be spun around. So you, when you're um, pulling, you're actually putting stress on that little peg. And if you're not careful, you might actually just uh, snap it off. Now as far as his accessories go, I will apologize, I am missing his uh, trademark gun. I know exactly where it is, it's fallen behind a bookshelf, so I wasn't able to get it in time for this review, nor do I have the desire to actually move the shelf and retrieve it, but I do know where it is. The other accessories that this guy came with were some other hands that you can pop in and out. You can see that he has the two little uh, fists right here that can easily just uh, snap right into his hands. A little hand that actually has his finger pointing out like he's either accusing someone or he's making a tremendous speech to the rest of his Autobots. And you can see the other hands that he had right here, just one that could actually um, hold on to his gun if he had it. I really wish I had it for this review. And the last little accessory he comes with is the little Autobot Matrix of Leadership. I do wish he came with another pair of hands that can actually hold on to it or make it look like he's about to open it up like he did in the cartoon, but yeah, well, I guess they try to add as much as they could for this guy. He's a great display piece, especially if you have him next to the uh, Megatron character that came out as well, and they really help complement each other, especially if you have him in some sort of battle pose. Anyways, this has been a look at Reveltech's Cybertron Command Convoy, aka Optimus Prime. Once again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen today, please feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment below in the comment section. Any advice for the show will be greatly appreciated. Who knows, something you suggest may appear on the show in the future.